on my way to Carnegie Hall to see Heather Headley. The traffic on the 59th Street Bridge. Hey friends, welcome to NBC Lifestyles Diary. My name is Marie. I live in New York. I love travel, fashion, entertaining, and cultural events. And tonight we're going to Carnegie Hall on the happening street of 57th. A bunch of stuff there. Parker Meridian, the hotel, Carnegie Hall, the Russian Tea Room. So since we were going to see Heather Headley at Carnegie Hall, we decided to partake a prefixed meal for New York Restaurant Week at the Russian Tea Room. So before you get your panties in a bunch, this is not affiliated with Russia in any way, but it was established in 1927 by the Russian Imperial Ballet members who were looking for a gathering place for Russian expatriates. The uh, restaurant had been sold many times and the last owner, of course, was American. And he did a total gut, gut renovation and kept the wonderful Russian theme going. That opulent red gives a feeling of luxury. Um, so here's a look at it. And for the menu, you had your choice of chicken or beef stroganoff. Uh, you had an appetizer and you had dessert. Um, alcohol and coffee were separate. So my cousin uh, said, let's get a bottle of Prosecco. And I said, sure, why not? Sounds like a great idea. And we got nice and tipsy. This is her appetizer, the beet soup. I had a lamb with currant. And this is my chicken dish. I don't think it was a great choice, but the beef stroganoff definitely was. Coffee was delicious. Dessert delighted. And off we went. Tipsy Girl to Carnegie Hall, listening to Heather Headley for the first time. I learned that Heather originated the role of Nyla in The Lion King, and she also won a Tony for her role in Aida. And I didn't know that Elton John and Tim Rice produced both of those shows, and that The Lion King is the third longest running Broadway show and it's made a billion dollars. Here's fangirl number one, Josie, so excited to see Heather Hadley. The Carnegie Hall is a historic building, um, and here we are walking to our box, and it tilts forward, and being tipsy didn't help. Carnegie Hall was designed by architect William Burnett Tuthill, and it was built by the philanthropist Andrew Carnegie. It is where it was the home of the New York Philharmonic until they moved to Lincoln Center in 1962. Carnegie Hall, originally a music hall, was constructed between 1889 and 1891 as a venue shared by the Oratory Society of New York and the New York Symphony Society. The hall was owned by the Carnegie family until 1925 and then purchased by Robert E. Simmons. She doesn't go over the ledge because it's kind of close. Oh my god, I got lipstick all over my teeth. <laughs> okay. Let me show you. I don't know. Carnegie Hall is known as one of the most prestigious venues in the world, both classical music and popular music. Heather Headley was honored to be performing there and super thrilled to be performing with the New York Pops Orchestra. She put on quite a show. This is during the intermission. We have a packed house. 
because Miss Headley has some die-hard fans. Yours truly is definitely one of them. Miss Headley's voice is fantastic and the music that she chose was quite moving. Um, there was a lot of love between her and her audience. She is a great performer and a great entertainer, and the show was well orchestrated. Uh, she got standing ovation, and she let everybody feel the love and the joy, and everybody was pretty thrilled to be there. My cousin said they love her. I need to find a 24 hour parking garage. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, but I don't think we should have recorded that. But yes! <laughs> If you enjoyed this episode, please share, like, and subscribe. See you soon.